Yeah. Hello, my name is Kyle Kringle, and this is how I have come to this point in my life. When I was in elementary school, there were two things that I wanted to be when I grew up. Those were a jazz musician and a stand-up comedian. Also a firefighter, but that's not important. Every day after school, I would walk up to my English teacher and tell her a joke. She enjoyed it so much that when she was preparing for the school play, she requested that I try it out. It was the Wizard of Oz, and I was cast into Scarecrow. This was my first taste of performing, and this changed everything. After that, my fourth and fifth grade year of elementary school, I did stand-up comedy at the talent show. Also during my fifth grade year, I watched every episode of The Muppets and became interested in puppeteering. When I was going into middle school, I was given a strange gift. It was called ventriloquism for dummies. It was given to me because of my love of puppeteering. One of the main things this book taught me was how to deliver a joke. Many of the techniques I still use today in my stage routines. The other thing it taught me was obviously ventriloquism. There was something special about the art of misdirection that was like nothing I'd ever done before. Ventriloquism used all my past interests of acting, puppeteering, and comedy. I stayed on the path of ventriloquism for a few years until a friend of mine decided to show me a card trick. This was taking the misdirection that I enjoyed so much and ramped it up to a hundred. Going into my freshman year, I was doing magic on the daily. I started doing gigs in front of shops on First Street to lure tourists into stores. Near the end of the summer, before freshman year, I went to a summer camp where I made a few friends showing off my skill. One of the friends I made was part of the Benicia High improv team. He enjoyed my wit and talked me into trying out for improv. At the start of my freshman year, I tried out. I didn't make it. Sophomore year was a lot of the same in the realm of magic, but junior year is where I really started taking big steps in magic. First off, during my junior year, I started making videos of my magic tricks on Instagram. I didn't make them often, but they started getting some attention. Other magicians started following me and giving me little tips and tricks to improve. I also tried out for the talent show that year, which I ended up winning. I did not expect it to have as big of an impact as it did, but to my surprise, I started getting requests for birthday parties. That summer, I went to another summer camp. Unbeknownst to me, they had a talent show audition there. Sadly, I didn't bring any of my magic things, but I tried out anyways. All I had was a single deck of cards and a box of Raisin Brand that I took from the cafeteria. People loved my routine so much. Someone from Arizona asked me to perform for a party. Sadly, I turned it down. I was even hired by my church to perform at a volunteer party. At the beginning of my senior year, I decided to get over my self-doubt and try out for the improv team again, thinking it could help my stage presence with magic. This time, I made it in. My senior year, I also tried out for the talent show again. My results were less successful, but it was just as fun. And that brings us to today. I'm still doing magic though not as much as I'd like. And I have one more improv show to end off the year. So yeah, that's the video. It's ending now.